Oh my dear learners over there, let me hope that you are with me. Uh, please, I call upon your attention. Please pay attention, be attentive, and we see what this lesson 26 is having for us today. All right, put on that smile always because I told you smiling makes you uh, wiser. Okay, now in this lesson, uh, this is lesson 26, let us start with our word bank as we normally do it. Now, let me hope that we have done very many words, and I think now you are now in position position to write, spell and explain those words once they are given to you and some questions accompany them. Alright, that's good of you. Let us get started. Uh huh. Now we are starting with our first word here and this word is enzyme. This one is enzyme and we discussed these enzymes and we said that these enzymes are biological in nature and they are proteinous. Uh -huh. Their importance is to speed up the chemical digestion of a food. Like when we discussed the enzyme called a tyrine, which is also called the salivary amylase which is found in the saliva produced by the salivary a glands within the, ma the mouth and then, as in when you go to the stomach we have the enzymes called a uh, renin found in babies then pepsin in e adults when you go to the duodenum you find there what you call a uh, tripusin you find there lipase and also uh, you find there the pancreatic ama amylase so these are the chemical substances biological in nature proteins in nature that help su to speed up chemical digestion of food because from the mouth these other parts of the alimentary canal we don't have teeth that will help us remove the nutrients from the food therefore we need those chemicals that are going to extract the nutrients from the food we, that we ate such that that nutrient enters the body and it becomes of use all right the word is en enzyme uh -huh. so from enzyme we have this other word which is peristalsis the word is peristalsis the word is peristal assist the word is peristal peristalsis so this is the down movement of food along with the alimentary uh, canal by wave like contractions and relaxations of those uh, alimentary uh, canal muscles and the best example is when you are defecating when you are pushing feces throughout the anus and then the way, that movement when they are coming out that is what you call that is the best example of peristal a peristalsis okay let us get another word here uh, this word is cohesion what is this word? The word is cohesion. Do you remember its meaning? Oh, good of you. We say that cohesion is the more is the the, the forces of attraction uh, between molecules of the same uh, substance. The opposite becomes adhesion between molecules of different sub uh, substance. Mm -hmm. Now we have this word iodine. So we have what we call iodine. So they can be iodine uh, crystals. Whereby uh, when we remember sublimation, this word here. Uh, whereby we said uh, solids are turning to gases uh, a solid turning to a gas directly uh, this process is what we call the sublimation and one of those uh, solids that can go to gas directly when it's becoming a liquid they are called iodine uh, crystals then we have iodine as amino salt uh, which can help us to prevent what we call the goiter and also we have what we call the iodine tincture iodine tincture this one is just used is found in first aid uh, kits uh, which is used to uh, clean and kill the germs around the wounds okay now we have this word in newton this word is uh, newton so do you think do you remember the quantity which is measured using newtons do you remember that one mm, good yes it is that answer so it is uh, weight so weight is measured in uh, newtons and we defined weight as the gravitational force acting upon an object an object then we have this word aids this word is uh, aids and this aids is also called the tiger mosquito now this tiger mosquito is uh, uh, there which is uh, it spreads a disease which is called yellow uh, fever and this yellow fever is now put among uh, the other immunizable uh, disease it is caused by a virus and this virus is called zika it is called the zika virus mm -hmm. so this yellow fever it causes what we call jaundice uh, jaundice uh, jaundice that is yellowing of the eyes 
the uh, the, 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 the foot sole the foot soles and also the palms they become yellowish the eyes are yellowish the palms are yellowish then the toe the foot soles they also become yellowish that condition is called jaundice is called jaundice this word here jaundice 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 so that is yellow a fever spread by the AIDS mosquito caused by a virus called the Zika Zika virus now this word is air rate so to air rate uh, to make small holes within the soil if this is our soil surface we discuss the soil so as worms come in out in out they make a holes and now that is what we call air rating or aeration so members fail it by writing like this okay this is wrong gosh 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 this this is wrong no 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 it is instead of i we put e so we make the word uh, to be pronounced as aerate so air what aerate so uh, lastly we have our word here uh, this is meningitis this word is e, meningitis and this meningitis is also a disease and it is now put among the other immunizable diseases remember we have now immunizable diseases those ones are the original ones they were six then now we have others like now we have covid 19 using the co the covaxi uh johnson johnson astrazeneca um pfizer and so on so uh, those vaccines now here meningitis it is normally a, 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 a disease which affects the membrane which covers the brain and that membrane is called meninges so it affects the meninges then as it affects our meninges it causes a dysfunctioning of the brain so we have to get the meningitis a vaccine as early as possible uh, on a bath mm -hmm. and is caused by a bacterium okay now our words for today we have meningitis we have aids we have air rate sublimation we have newton iodine cohesion perisosis and a enzymes oh my dear lana jovin have you understood jonathan uh, we have jovin jotham jonathan all of you let me hope that you are at home please pay attention let us enjoy together me i'm enjoying just from this way anyway now let us get our diagram for today mm, oops oh now our diagram for today we are having a baby mm, is it funny now what are you going to talk about this baby huh? this is a baby girl and she's smiling i told you smiling makes you wiser okay now today we are now going to look at what we call uh, this diagram and it's going to give us what we call the immunization sites the immunization what immunization uh, sites where we put these vaccines as you are there we are uh, help me uh repeat after me these words uh, please be my dad the words are please be my dad please be my dad now do this action please touch the mouth please then be touch on uh, the, the, the upper arm the shoulder of your, your right arm please be now you make that cross to the left arm so please be my so mouth right left mouth left right left eh? from uh, from the mouth you go to the right from the right touch the left so let it be please be my now dad you touch that thigh the left thigh still so uh, you are doing this one uh, hmm. uh please be my dad say it again please be my dad 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 so mouth right left left 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 are you there so that is please be my uh, dad so we are going to get what to call immunization sites so uh before getting now i think now you have gotten this one now before going there we have what to call immunization so immunization as now they are calling people to go for covid19 vaccine for me i'm fully immunized and i'm safe though i'm still all uh, are keeping uh, observing the sops wearing my mask washing hands and social distancing uh-huh uh, then uh, immunization is the introduction of vaccines into the body uh, to produce antibodies uh, that help to fight against the uh, germs in the next lesson we shall discuss how vaccines uh, work then immunization we have two methods of immunizing one there is what we call oral method and two there is what we call injection uh, method so with covid19 it is just injection uh, method then oral we are going to see oral it is just we put drops in the mouth over the tv 
is over the radios they are advertising they are telling us that they are sensitizing us that now we have uh, polio viruses have been now a seen so they are mobilizing people they are mobilizing uh, young children uh, from 15 years downwards to go for immunization and at one time uh, v vts uh, VHTs, they are going to come. VHTs, these are uh, voluntary health team uh, members. They will just come by, uh, by door by door, calling you to get your vaccine. Which vaccine? The polio uh, vaccine. So there are two methods polio, uh, that is oral method and injection uh, method. Immunization is the introduction of vaccines into the body to make it produce antibodies uh, that fight against the uh, disease causing germs. Then, uh, we are going to look at these sites as we've said, please be my dad. Now, this thing, it is confusing. When you look at this baby, uh, the baby is facing you. If the baby is facing you, you are also facing the baby. So, what is on your left? It is the baby's right and what is on your right? It's the baby's uh, left, like me here. Uh, the baby is facing me and I'm facing it. Now, uh, uh, this one where you are seeing this pain, uh, this thing, this is my left because for me I use the left. Now, this is going to be the right of the baby. Now, this one, it is on my right. Then, uh, this is going to be the left of the baby. Have you understood that? So me, I'm facing the baby. So if the um, if I'm facing the baby, my left hand is matching with this hand. Now, what is the left on the baby is going to be the right. Then what is matching with my left, my right is going to be the baby's left. Is that understood? Even the same way we use when you're naming uh, the sides of the heart. So uh, this one is the right and this one is the uh, left. So when we're using our uh, please be my dad, we are using it like this. Uh, please be my dad right so those are the sites now this one is the mouth mm -hmm. then this side here it is going to become the right upper uh, the right upper arm so this one is the right upper arm then this one is going to be the lefty upper arm then here is going to be the lefty upper thigh now in the mouth dcb a uh, dcp is standing for polio so when you are getting the polio so polio the site for polio it is at uh, the mouth then the method is going to be or then from uh, please be now dcb is standing for the bcg uh, vaccine uh -huh. and this bcg vaccine is administered on the right upper um, and this BCG vaccine, it is again, it is given against the, the tuberculosis. When we discussed in, uh, vaccines, we said BCG vaccine, it is under um, attenuated living vaccines. It is uh, and it's a living attenuated vaccine, meaning that uh, this vaccine is developed in horses. They get those uh, um, uh, like BCG, which is this bacteria uh, that we, uh, that cause uh, tuberculosis. We call them uh, the bacilli. That is, it is under the type of bacillus. So bacilli then it stands for the calment. So bacilli calment are uh, guelin. Uh -huh. So this is bacilli calment guelin. So when they get them when they are alive, then they inject them into living animals like the horses. Then they multiply. After multiplying, they extract them. Then they use them to make uh, vaccines. So that type of vaccine is called attenuated. So BCG is an example of attenuated uh, vaccine. Then polio vaccine it is an it is a killed uh, vaccine. So another type that is uh, the toxoid. So toxoid vaccines like the tetanus toxoid vaccines, meaning that we just use the toxins, uh, these poisons or uh, the substances produced by the bacteria, like the bacterium uh, that causes tetanus. Uh, on culturing it, then it is going to produce toxins. Those toxins are going to be obtained and they are going to be used uh, to make those vaccines that are going to produce antibodies that are going to combat the tetanus uh, bacteria. Okay, so. Uh, let us come back to our sites here uh, this is please be my dad please be my dad so please that is polio vaccine bcg vaccine uh, measles vaccine and dpt vaccine so uh, please be my my is standing for the measles uh, vaccine uh, which is given to a baby through injection on the lefty upper arm then lastly dad that is dpt 
a vaccine uh, which is given to the baby on the left upper side so please be my dad so when this baby is facing you it is now in opposite your right it is its left the left it is its uh, right so please be my dad so uh, this dpt vaccine it is given on the left upper thigh and again measles on the right on the left upper arm at the age of nine months because the maternal immunity against the measles lasts for nine months are uh, with there and again measles is given at birth and even bcg also at birth uh, because this uh, uh, the baby it is, is vulnerable so the baby is just vulnerable against the measles the polio vax, uh, polio virus and also the bcg i mean the tuberculosis uh, bacterium uh-huh so that is our that has this has been our science a uh, diagram let me hope that you've remembered the sites and the vaccines and the diseases and at what age and when okay so let us move on and see uh, what 26 uh, is having for us okay 26 this lesson 26 is now uh, telling us to discuss energy we are now going to discuss energy and this is a primary five uh, topic now this energy what does this word energy mean so energy in simple terms it means the ability to do work if you are able to do anything so that thing which is making you able to do that thing that is what you call energy so energy is the ability uh, to do a uh, work mm -hmm. are you able to read meaning that now light is there helping you to read uh, are you able to laugh there is energy inside your body are you able to run there is chemical energy inside the body from the food you you ate mm -hmm. are you able to do anything yes then that is what we call energy so energy is the ability to do what you uh, to do a uh, work then this energy it is divided into uh, types and there are only two so we have what we call uh, types of energy and there are only two and these types of energy we can term them as uh, the mechanical uh, types or the, the mechanical energies one we have what we call the pot the ten the tent the tension so this one becomes the potential energy and two we have another type called the the kinetic what energy mm -hmm. now let us understand what potential energy is uh, what is this potential energy now potential energy it means that this is the energy we are having at rest so this is the form this is the type of energy possessed by objects at a rest so possess it has two then possessed there are four s's in the word possessed so possessed by objects or bodies at a rest like me here i'm seated now my body is possessing potential energy you, you are also seated watching this you are possessing potential energy the book that is possessing possessing potential the baby in a cloth uh, uh in a baby court it is possessing potential the phone on a table um a book on a table the gel cans there your shoes down there all those things at the rest they are possessing possessing what we call a uh, potential uh, energy mm -hmm. like when you're in a vehicle so you are seated in a vehicle the vehicle is moving but you, you are not moving so a passenger in a vehicle is possessing potential energy a cup put on a table a child is seated listening to me who is a teacher teaching from this way so you are having what you call potential energy so those are the some of examples uh, of um, the potential energy then uh, let us look at another one uh, let us now discuss what we call the kinetic energy so kinetic energy uh, this is a type of energy possessed by objects in motion possessed by objects in motion and what does this word motion mean uh, moving anything which is moving it is now having what we call a uh, potential energy uh, sorry sorry it is having kinetic energy for example if you throw a stone in the air the stone is going to start moving so when when you throw this stone in the air here then the stone is going to possess a kinetic water energy it's going to have kinetic water energy when the water is in a kettle or in a in a saucepan boiling then that water is moving is in motion so that water is having kinetic water energy when a bird is flying in the air it is having kinetic energy an aeroplane in the air it is having kinetic energy and a vehicle or a car moving it is having kinetic energy how about water flowing so uh, water flowing it is also having what you call kinetic energy therefore 
in simple terms kinetic energy is the type of energy possessed by objects at what i mean possessed by objects in motion so uh, there are only two types of energies potential and kinetic then others are what you call forms of energies uh -huh. so others are called forms of energies mm -hmm. now let us get them one there is what we call chemical energy where do we get chemical energy that is the food we eat, we eat. Mm. the food we eat possesses or gives us what we call chemical energy mm. when you eat cassava then that cassava has chemical energy which is going to be uh, turned by your body into what we call atp and you start running doing what and what so that is so even when you look at it charcoal and that charcoal used to cook food, the fire would use to cook food, the dry cells, uh, they have what you call chemical energy. Now, let us get this. Uh, when you have this charcoal and it starts to burn, mm, when, when now this charcoal becomes red hot, uh, it means that the chemical energy in it is turning to heat and light meaning that now uh, we can get one form to turn uh, and this form of energy is turned into another form for example charcoal that charcoal on a charcoal stove when it is not hot it is having chemical energy then when it starts to produce heat and light then that chemical energy in it it is now it's now being turned into heat and light same applies to the firewood so the firewood uh, it has chemical energy then as it starts to uh, to burn producing heat and light then the chemical energy will have turned from a chemical to heat and light mm -hmm. now uh, even the dry cells but we shall discuss these dry cells more when we join primary uh, seven then we have another form of energy and this is sound energy now you are hearing me that is sound so the ears are now doing their work that is sound energy then we have what you call light energy which is used by the eyes even the plants so the plants use this light energy to make food which is containing chemical energy meaning that during the process of photosynthesis uh, light energy uh, is now going to be converted to chemical energy because uh, the plants are making food using light energy from the sun now they are converting this light energy to chemical energy now when you get this cassava you are now getting chemical energy or when you get firewood you are getting chemical energy or when you get um, a charcoal from that wood because that wood was made by plants so it is chemical energy which was made by plants by converting light energy to chemical energy light from other sun so other forms of energy so far we have said we have a sound energy light energy we have heat energy we have chemical energy and things with chemical energy we've said the food we do eat the charcoal and also other uh, fire other uh, firewood and again we have magnetic energy uh, and this one we shall discuss this one into details uh, just when we join a uh, p7 fully magnetic energy as in magnetism and also we have the solar energy from the sun when we say solar it is a combination of heat plus light from the sun then one term to mean this one that is solar energy so uh, those are forms then the other two they are types so forms are chemical we have looked at chemical there is heat there is light we have sound and also magnetic solar a uh, plus um, uh, electric energy uh-huh so you have what you call electric energy okay now uh let us get another chalkboard here so let us look at how these energies form i suppose uh here uh, we have we have our brake and is hanging on a string at position a then at pos it is now the string breaks then the break it is at position b then this is the ground finally the break has reached the ground at position c this is our uh, ground meaning that at a here uh, the brake is having it is at rest so the brake is having potent tension energy then at b it is having both the potential and the kinetic energy it is moving at the same time it is occupying at uh, uh, a level so it is moving occupying a level so it is having both kinetic and potential then on reaching c the kinetic and potential are going to be converted into sound then it too it is going to produce heat so at c we have sound these are forms then here we have the types then still we are having we can get this one 
a stone rolling then a stone can roll from here then when it is here then finally at the ground so here it is at rest potential then here it is having kinetic plus some potential but larger more of kinetic then here it is going to produce heat and light i still applies uh, to a boy uh, kicking a ball so when you kick up uh, here the ball is having kind potential then when it is kicked then here it is going to produce uh, it's going to get kinetics plus some potential then it's going to land uh, down here then it's going to have uh, it's going to produce sound it's going to produce heat are we there uh-huh now it's like when we have we have a string uh, we have uh, a pendulum bob is on a string then when you you give it a push or a pull then it's going to come at this level then from this level it's going to come back here then from here it's going to continue and uh, then it's going to end up this way so here uh, it's going to get its maximum then it's going to be having potential then here it's going to have kinetic and kinetic plus some potential then even this is going to be having potential and kinetic this p e means potential energy k e means kinetic what energy so uh, those are some of the changes uh we can look at so um, after that let us look at um, uh, the sources of energies okay sources of energy so when we talk about sources of energy uh, we are looking at things which can give us energy so a source of energy one we can get energy from the sun we can get it from uh, the biogas uh, we can get it from uh, the dry cells we can get energy from a uh, firewood or uh, there is a food which is chemical energy we can get it from charcoal uh -huh, we can get it from oh sorry the sun is already uh, mentioned so uh, these are some of the sources of energy even we can get this energy from uh, fossils uh, things that can burn and produce heat and light and uh, then we can get it from uh, running water like the hydroelectricity this is electric energy a uh, running water and you can also get it from a uh, geotherms so those chem those fossils down there in the uh, underground they can burn and help us to run some turbines then we generate um, electricity okay then we have also what we call a uh, nuclear energy okay Mm -hmm. so here now we are now officially going to look at heat energy so what is heat so heat is a form of energy uh, that increases the temperature of an object is a form of energy uh, that increases uh, the temperature of any object mm -hmm. now let us see the sources of this heat energy one we can get it from for fuels when i say fuels i mean things that can burn to produce heat and light like firewood that is wood we can get petrol we can uh, we have coal uh, there is also diesel we have also a uh, paraffin and natural gas mm -hmm. and then we can get this heat uh, from the sun and also uh, from the food uh, we normally eat plus the electricity uh-huh so electricity add on the candles that are there Mm-hmm. Uh, so let us see our uh, uses of heat in our environment. So uses of heat in the environment. So uh, this heat one it helps us to disinfect our uh, disinfect our beddings. Uh -huh. Two, uh, it provides us with warmth. Three, it helps us to warm our food. Uh, four, drying our harvested crops. Uh, drying our um, our clothes and also lives in rain formation mm -hmm. rain formation and so on so those others we shall see them in the next lesson we meet in the next lesson and i'm not going to give you an assignment i wait for a, a simple revision test may god bless you